So, home, as far as consensus go, I love Fresno, I'm country. So even though I'm from Compton and that's my claim to fame, I'm a country guy at heart. So I like the way Fresno feels, the smell, how it sounds when we get up in the morning. How even in our community, if you don't know how to fish or hunt, as far as my family goes, it's like, you know, that's part of uh, your rite of passage. To be able to garden and those things that we don't learn how to do in Compton. I saw my grandmother, always, both grandmothers always had gardens. I mean, we learned how to skin rabbits, even hunt rabbits and pheasants, quail, fishing, you know. It was easy because we learned how to fish with chicken litter. We would catch crawfish and fish with the tails. Bonding moments. That's why I love Fresno because you have so many of them and it's, it's family oriented. Like, it's nothing like a Fresno family. They're always big and full of, full of people and you invite people into your family too. Your neighbors become part of your family because you do all of those things with them as well. So that's what Fresno feels and smells like to me. Well, I can say I come from a place that can smell like death. And I know that's kind of weird or funny to say, but um, growing up in West Fresno, waking up every morning, going to school, and knowing that it's a slaughterhouse right around the corner. Um, and even if you didn't know, you know, you can smell it. Um, so I will say that. But what you'll see is, in that smell of all that death, you'll see full of life. You'll see a community full of life. Um, you'll see people stopping in the middle road just to talk to their homie, talk to their next door neighbor, talk to their aunt. Um, you'll hear the kids playing, definitely for sure, screaming and running on just about any block you're on in West Fresno. And uh, you might hear some loud music, um, all types of music from different cultures. Um, which is honestly sometimes very beautiful, hearing all the different music and smelling all the different smells of food that actually do come from each home. You can walk down one block and probably smell three different cultures. Because when it comes to West Fresno, it is a lot. Um, it may not be a lot to see um, unless you want a, a very beautiful sunset. Um, the best sunset is in West Fresno. I don't think I've seen a better sunset anywhere else, especially if you're over there on Kearney Boulevard. Um, being in that area, being able to watch that sun just set um, and just dropped and understanding that I don't know it's a it's a community behind you that wants to see you do more um, I can say that for myself I'm from a pretty peaceful neighborhood uh, the sounds during the day are what you would call basically normal you hear the birds chirping and you can hear the kids down at the, the end of the block playing in the school and at e in the evenings, you can hear the families and people coming out, and uh, you can smell some of the foods that's being cooked in the neighborhood that make you, if you don't know what home is, it'll make you have a real realization of what uh, a home is. You can smell it, and it smells like, I need to pull my chair up to the table about right now and have some of that. Uh, uh, you look out and you see the kids playing. There's lots of kids in my neighborhood because there is a school down near the end of the block. The kids uh, are there laughing, playing. The sounds during the day are very relaxing. Uh, when you go out and you look into the sky, we have plants over here in the summer, and it's a lot better now that bring the uh, fact, you know, chicken plant and its smell comes down in the, in the spring and summer, which is very nauseating. It's a lot better in the last five years, but it's still bad. Uh, but the good thing about it is uh, we as a community can come outside and wave at somebody you know and, and uh, go down and talk to your neighbors. It's still that kind of community. And um, you can take a walk, taking a nice, long, leisurely walk. It's always there. You can always do it. The streets are not so busy that you can't. And there are areas where you can actually go and walk. So it's all good. Uh, I think the first thing that comes to mind is the other side of the freeway. Uh, that neighborhood that uh, you don't know it exists at times, but is a big part of Fresno's history. Uh, a place where there are uh, a ton of families and a ton of hardworking people and people really trying to figure out how to make it. Good smells for me is barbecue. 
in the summer, you know, smelling the hot dog, you know, bur or somebody burning the hamburgers. You know, just the smell of that makes it home, and that home can be anywhere. I know every Sunday it is either really loud or really quiet because it's football. No matter what, there's football going on. It tastes like barbecue chicken every day, every weekend, I mean, because every weekend was a barbecue somewhere. There was a barbecue somewhere. Half the time you could go down to like the Hidden Center or right in front of Computech and there'd be a barbecue cookout with the football game on and you just watch football. It is the immortal sense of family and that taste of fellowship and brotherhood that I feel in the West Side. It is all different cultures, all different people, all different foods, smells, sights, rituals, anything that it may be, and accepting all of it for it. And it's truly an amazing thing. Home to me is family. My mother's home was open to other kids. It was six of us and it was 20 of us. Neighborhoods, kids. Um, from Fresno, elementary schools, West Fresno, Columbia, Kirk, Franklin, Irwin, Edison, City College, of course, then Pacific College, but um, home. I, I describe West Fresno as family. Miss so-and-so down the street, Mr. so-and-so across the way, anybody could whoop you if they caught you down the street doing wrong. It was seriously a village. So to me, West Fresno, I would walk all over West Fresno, wouldn't, wouldn't get in trouble, Everybody knew your mama. That that was like, oh my God, you know? So that's family to me. What home is for me is a sense of belonging, um, where your closest friends can sit down and watch a TV show, um, where you guys can laugh and play and have your kids grow up together. Um, personally for myself, um, I grew up in a home where all the neighborhoods got together, the neighborhood kids got together and we played midnight tag. Um, parents would sit out uh, in front of their houses and just keep an eye on everybody as we would run around <laughs> and play hide and go seek, um, wearing nothing but our light up sketcher shoes. <laughs> um, just a sense of um, being able to be a part of someone else other than what family you're born into. Um, that's the kind of way I kind of grown up and I see that a lot in Southwest Fresno. So um, moving here, I guess you can say was one of those um, it was an aha moment for me um, that I was able to just really fit right in and feel comfortable being in Southwest Fresno. Coming from my small town, Exeter, to Fresno, there's a lot of, um, I noticed there's a lot of more restaurants and more places to go to and more um, activities to do. So the smells are like, um, a lot of like uh, perfume smells and outdoors and restaurants and um, just, just a bunch of different other smells than, than I experienced back home. Yeah, so um, I'm, I'm, I am on the outer edge of Southwest Fresno city limits. Um, so it's starting to become a little rural. So for me, so for me it is it is a blend of, of um, the historical agricultural culture and the urban culture. Um, to me, it's both. I have the senses of the ag, you know, when whether it's whether it's the the smell of dirt when it rains or whether it's the smell of of uh, when things are blossoming. Um, whether they're or orange orchards, you, there's a certain scent throughout the year that you you, you, you get, um, or certain trees that blossom and have a, a, an aroma. 
Um, music, music has always been for me something that even as a kid in Southwest Fresno, you know, like R and B, blues, and even as I got older, there would be little mini micro clubs where music would be played, and I'd go to those. So music, I always think about music when I think about Southwest Fresno because I was exposed to both um, what what some people would consider like Af more African American music and some traditional Latino Spanish speaking music, um, you know. But I was I, I grew up with all of that, and I, I still listen to all of it because it was always around. It was as far as the snow I know, um, you can catch me at a taco place, like over here. <laughs> That's what I, I think of a lot when I come over here. Um, my favorite food, I think of, I know when it rains, you can smell the, um, the cow manure over here. <laughs> the uh, sounds, um, just depending what part you're driving on. If you're driving on you know, Fresno Street, you'll probably hear some music at one point and just a lot of city noise downtown, cars, random people by the bus stop, you know, and stuff. Home for me is the familiar faces, the sounds of laughter from a neighbor that you know always talks so loud and laughs so loud. And you're like, there they go, right? The sound of conversation on the street. So the senses really deal with community. Um, the smell of bacon. <laughs> but then as the community has changed, the smell of chorizo or tacos too. <laughs> um, and the now mixture of I can on a Friday or a Wednesday night, I can still hear hip hop music. The older generation, I can hear jazz. And then the generation that's changed now, I can hear banda music. Um, and so it's a flavor that has just totally, it's not one thing. It, and so the sound is definitely the sounds of music, different sounds, right? Um, and the flavors is just the smells of really good homemade cooked food. Um, and what's hard to hear, but when I first came was the sound of a little bit more quietness compared to now, it's more the sound of you hear all the background sound of industry. Like I can, in a 20 year period, you can hear the differences um, where it was more quiet than it is now.